Hello, hello, hello. Thanks for joining me again on my morning commute thought, prayer, devotional time. Yesterday, um, America lost a icon, another one, same day that Carmen died, Rush Limbaugh died. Now, whether where you fall on the line, we can all at least acknowledge that the guy transformed uh, American airwaves. He transformed um, the voice. He allowed a, 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 a voice, a conservative voice that was not truly being heard. And so he kind of stepped into the arena uh, to be heard. And he, uh, he did a lot. I'm not saying I totally love the guy. I, I used to listen to him every now and then. I wouldn't say I was a starch listen, starch listen to her, whatever, listen to him. Um, but he's, you can't deny he did change. And, yeah, and I have to wonder, um, this guy, when he died, the left, his opposition was so negative and vocal about it. I mean, just gleefully glad he, well, apology glad the guy died. I, I mean... Wow, just wow, the amount of visceral attack that he got after he's dead. I mean, poor guy, I mean, you don't have to sit there and like it, but that was a lot of vile. I mean, still, still a lot of vile. And you don't see it um, uh, that much vile a lot unless the guy's making a huge impact, and he did. I mean, he made a huge impact. I can, I can safely say after listening to bunches, of different commentaries on the guy that he made an impact strong impact and for as far as politically speaking he uh, he was a he was a brilliant guy for what he did uh, but here's my spiritual side to that because i'm not trying to stay on the, on the political side on this one he had um a a a, 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 a message a voice and he was unapologetically saying that voice and I think Christians need to be equally or more bold about their position. Not arrogant. No, I never, I never best arrogance, but I do stuff boldness. If you got the truth, it's not as as it's not arrogant if it's the truth. It's not it's not going, you're being hateful. It's the truth. Okay, if you don't like the color of the sky, it's blue and you think it's pink, but I know it's blue, it's not hate speech or terrible by saying it's blue. Look, if truth is truth, then truth is truth. And this is not a, well, it's your version of truth versus my version of truth. I'm sorry. Truth is truth, and we got the truth. Like, the real truth. And you may not espouse that, but that's the real truth. And so, I'm going to speak it. And I think every, I'm going to encourage every Christian to boldly speak up on truth. Now, I'm going to clarify that. The Bible is the truth. Not necessarily your opinion on the Bible. Mm, big difference there, right? Big difference. We've got to be careful about taking our opinion or our interpretation of the Bible and spinning it as that's the truth. Because then you get all types of weird doctrines and side things. And, and No, nah, stick to the truth, to the Bible. It's the only thing you know 100% is truth. I mean, you might get truth out there through research and science and, and discovery, but careful. Just careful. You only know 100% what truth is the Bible. So stick to it and be bold. So I want to encourage us. We need to be, like I told earlier a few days ago, be more undignified. We need to speak our voice and let the voice be heard. And again, speak it in love, but don't shy, don't shy down from speaking. No, be bold. Be bold. Be bold. It took brass for Peter and John to get up right after the... Um, Jesus is ascending, the, P the Pentecostal hits, and it took him boldness to stand up and say, you killed Jesus, but that's who we represent. And then they wanted to beat, the, beat him, and, and he goes, I want you, they, were, they were like, you need to be quiet. And Peter's like, well, who do you want us to obey? You or God? We're going to believe God. Even if you beat us, um, this is obviously the print version, if you're going to beat us, but we're going to stand up for truth. It gave them a boldness. A boldness, and I think that some some of it we're missing that in the church. A boldness. Uh, we we've been we've been told and, and and instructed that love is to be passive. 
Love is to be quiet. You need to consider their feelings too. You know, when did feelings get more important than facts? Hmm? When did feelings get... I know that you're tired of swimming, but if you stop, you're going to drown. Drowned. Fact. Well, I don't feel like swimming any longer. I'm tired. So what about your feelings? Feelings come, feelings go. Feelings really are a byproduct of your thinking. So you can change your feelings. But we need to be able to we need to, we, we we need to stop buying into the idea that loving and being loving is this passive um, gentle yeah, we can be gentle. Whoops, sorry. Yeah, we can be gentle. But we also need to be bold. And say, I understand you don't like the truth. But the truth is the truth. And where else is the world going to hear that if you don't turn yourself to God and repent of your sins, that you're going to hell? Who else is going to say that but the church? And if we lose our nerve and we want to get, well, I don't want to offend them. I don't want to hurt them. Who else is going to say it? Church, that's your job. That's your point. You have, look, I have four kids and I love them all dearly. Absolutely love them. I don't, certainly don't agree with everything they do. Um, two of them are adults now. And I don't always agree with the decisions that they make, for sure. But because I love them, I tell them, I'm going to shoot straight with you. I'm going to shoot straight with you. I got to tell you, if you continue doing what you're doing, you're going to have consequences that you're probably not going to want to have. And that's the nice way of saying it. Look, you're choosing this and it's a bad decision. I taught you how to make good decisions. Utilize that. You're basing this off of wrong data, wrong facts, and feelings. I love you enough to tell you you're being an idiot right now. That's love. That's love. Love is not going, well, you just do what makes you feel good. Just do what you feel, you know. Um, just, just, yeah, whatever you feel. No. Look, I've worked my life um, sometimes on logic and sometimes on feeling. And I'm telling you what, feeling gets you into trouble. I feel like this is the right move. Well, you better be backing that up because feelings can be fake. I'm telling you what, sometimes I felt something and it was absolutely the wrong feeling I should have felt feeling. No, 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 no. Church, we need to be truly loving. Like Rush Limbaugh, we need to have a boldness when we know it's the truth and speak the truth. Speak it out. And sometimes, I'm just going to say a lot of times, that's going to cut and it's going to hurt. And you don't want to cut too hurt, but you know what? That they need the truth. I mean, there's plenty of examples. We can, we can look ourselves in the medical arena and see what it's like. You know, a doctor has to make a cut if he's going to get the, 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 the gangrene out. I mean, there's so many of the things that I got to cause you pain if I'm going to heal you. Mm, that's a good title. Sometimes causing pain to heal, you have to cause pain, you know, be in pain. The truth is not always fun. But when you know the truth, speak it out in love. And if the other person receives it wrong, that's on them. Our job, I, man, boy, mm, I get burned up sometimes when I'm supposed, to, I'm supposed to be the one to be careful how I say things to not offend you. How about you take responsibility and don't get offended at every little thing that goes down the pike? I'm sorry, I didn't say your correct gender titles. You know what? You look like a dude, but you want to be called a girl. Whoops. And I accidentally call you a dude because you look like a dude, but then you're offended I didn't call you a girl? Dude, then look like a girl. If you really want me to call you a girl, then look like it. Because you know what? If I look, if I, if you look like a dude, I'm going to call you a dude. Now, if I know you're a girl, I'm going to call you a girl because that's the fact of the matter. Just because you want to be identified as something doesn't change facts. Oh, am I stepping on toes today? I probably am. Dear Lord. Speak the truth in love. And if the other person's offended, then the other person can get offended. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to go out of my way to offend you, but if the truth hurts you, I'm sorry. It's the truth. And I will side on the side of truth. Not on your feelings, because you know everyone has a different feeling about something. But truth is independent of your feeling, because truth is somebody. It's Christ. 
He's the only one that claims the truth because he is the truth. He is the way, the truth, and the life. There you go. All right, let's pray. I'm going to get to my destination pretty soon. Father, thank you for today. Lord, I thank you for people uh, like Rush Limbaugh who stand up for truth. You stand up for, excuse me, for what they believe. They're not always right. I understand they're humans, but I appreciate the boldness that they have. And I pray, Lord, that you would give us, the church, the boldness to speak your word, the boldness to speak truth in love, of course. Don't want to hurt people deliberately. But help us have the courage to stand up for it. it's right, it's right. And if you don't like the fact that it's right, it doesn't change the fact that it's still right. So help us, Lord, to have that boldness and courage to be the voice that we need to be in this world. That we don't cut, tuck our tail between our legs and cower along the corner because someone may be offended by something that we say. Help us, Lord, to count the costs. And I know, Lord, it may come, come with a price. I get that. But, Lord, help us for the joy that's set before us to endure the persecution for your name's sake. I don't want to do it for something stupid, but for your name's sake, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Guys, thank you for listening. If you listen this far, I appreciate you immensely. Um, please like the button. I know on YouTube, for specific, you have to like that like button. Otherwise, it barely gets seen. Um, please leave some comments. I'd love to hear from you. Good or bad, you're welcome to leave it. I uh, certainly will um, uh, read them. And remember, I love you. If you have any prayer requests, let me know. All right, bye.